problem when speaking about global warming is that it seems so massive, so hard to grasp. People need to understand the scale of climate change and its impact on us. For example, what do we mean when we say that sea levels are going to rise and humans are going to be displaced? How many people is that, really? And how are we going to affect a dialogue in our communities? How will we engage in the critical issues of our day and get people to participate, to understand, to feel moved enough to take action, especially if they can't understand the scale of the problem? Our response is, of all the people in all the world, USA, commonly known as the Rice Show. It was presented over the course of 12 days at Wesleyan University's Zilke Gallery and at satellite locations across campus and in downtown Middletown, Connecticut. Stan's Cath Theatre Company has been performing this show in cities all over the world. When we approached them, we explained that we were looking for ways to humanize statistics around climate change so as to get people to engage with the statistics by taking the data out of the books or newspaper articles and putting it in the middle of people's lives in a different, more physical, and visceral way. The students in the environmental studies course were each asked to develop five statistics that would really engage the viewers and make them consider climate change from a different perspective. They were responsible for verifying all of their work, providing their source in the best scholarly fashion. Stan's Kef picked many of the 650 submitted and the company will continue to use these statistics in future installations around the world. By interspersing the climate change statistics with other humorous or staggering statistics about historical and current events, people were drawn to appreciate science-based information they might not otherwise have considered. Many people made the Rice Show possible. Students and community volunteers helped unload the 11,000 pounds of rice. Then, at the end of the show, they packed it up for donation to local relief organizations and food banks. The show opened on February 20th and attracted audiences from across the campus and the state, including area school groups. Over the course of the two weeks, 1,700 people attended many of them returning to see the show as it changed and evolved. <laughs>